Bulletproof Radio, a state of high performance. But first, we haven't talked in a little while, and you're like, oh, Dave, I'm working on concrete. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. That's why, guys, I'm telling you, he's one of those, what you'd call a polyglot. If uh, if different forms of science were languages, he'd be a scientific polyglot. I love that word. That means someone who speaks lots of languages. But he literally goes from chemistry to electrical stuff like that. So concrete, carbon neutral concrete. What is yeah, that? actually carbon negative concrete. We we it started out as carbon neutral, and then uh, as <laughs> as I typically do, I wanted to see if I could take it a couple notches further. So the idea was to come up with concrete um, that would actually leach carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. So typically in a year, uh, carbon accounts for 8% of global CO2, or, or rather concrete accounts for 8% of global CO2 emissions. And in this case, I negated that pretty quickly, but then went a few steps further and was able to get about a 24% reduction. So net change of about 32%. Not, uh, of course, everybody's not gonna transition to this uh, immediately. That would be amazing and fantastic if it happened but the idea is just to do things that move the needle and that's a that's a big problem you know i've got literally since i opened my lab i've had the same things on my board as problems that i wanted to solve you know aging cancer clean water global warming <laughs> super luminal travel the easy stuff so. yeah the uh the teleportation thing definitely needs to be on there <laughs> and do you remember the the biodome from the 90s absolutely so for people who don't remember this, and there's a meaningful number of people who probably have already uh, lost it in the sands of time, there was a group of sort of wannabe astronaut types who locked themselves in a sealed dome somewhere in the Southwest. And the deal was they were going to grow all of their own food and air in a closed ecosystem to show we could do it in space. And over the course of about two years, they became exceptionally angry at each other, very low on oxygen, way too much carbon dioxide and their vegan diet trashed them. They're all gaunt with joint problems and teeth falling out and all sorts of stuff like that. And they finally had to open the thing. And well, it turns out years later, they figured out it's because the, the concrete that they'd used to build the floor and the structure was sucking the air out of their air. Well, sucking the oxygen out of their air. And if that hadn't have been going on, maybe they'd have been able to have, you know, the occasional, you know, bite of bunny or something to keep themselves strong. But uh, anyhow, this is how I became aware of this problem of concrete. And you look at the amount of concrete out there, it matters. Uh, probably oh, yeah. not as much as container shipping, but it's a big deal. So have you done this? Is it ready to go? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, we've, we've done it. It's been tested. We've been doing strength testing for the past four or five months. Um, you know, the thing with concrete is you want to make sure that there are no long-term issues with it because the, the strength, the, you know, the modulus kind of changes over time. So you have to make sure that as you protract it out six months to a year, uh, everything maintains, it, maintains its strength. So is, it, is it more expensive than normal concrete? No, actually, it's about the same price. It's you just had initially, of course, it was, but you just had to think about how to do it, you know, and the idea and it's black, which is very awesome. So it goes Whoa. back. <laughs> it looks great. It really looks like onyx. It's really awesome. Can, can I buy it? I mean, I'm I'm actually working on my house in Victoria that was full of toxic mold. We had to tear it down. So I'm going to have to put sidewalks in. I mean, I want black yeah. sidewalks. Yeah, well, right. I I would love to. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, I'll be a beta test site for you. This I'm so stoked. I didn't even know we were going to go there. I just I, I want people who are listening to just understand you you create a ton of disparate, weird but world changing stuff. 